Death is the enemy. The first enemy and the last. The enemy always wins. And we still need to fight him. You're scared, aren't you? What are you scared of? What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 7 preview video. Now that we have seen Episode 5, it's time to take a look at the upcoming episode, which is Episode 6. Since this is a shortened season, Episode 6 should be the most action-packed episode because Game of Thrones typically does this right before their season finale. And I have to admit, the Episode 6 preview trailer might be the best one we have ever seen, or at least the best one I have ever seen. It almost feels like this next episode is going to be more like a movie than an actual episode from a television show. I am extremely excited for this one ever since all the spoilers started being confirmed. I knew this might be one of my favorite episodes of all time, and there will be spoilers in his video too, so proceed with caution. Now let's begin. This next episode's main focus will be on the mission beyond the wall. Jon Snow and company are on a mission to capture a white so they can take it back to King's Landing to try and prove to Cersei that the threat beyond the wall is real. They need to forget about who is going to rule the Seven Kingdoms and focus on stopping the Night King and his army from bringing a storm to Westeros and completely annihilating everything and everyone in sight. Jon Snow is accompanied by an awesome team right now. He has Tormund, Jorah, Beric, Thoros, Gendry, the Hound, and a few other random wildlings with him as they go in search of the dead. We last saw them walking out of the tunnel north of the wall, and they were walking right into a snowstorm that was a complete whiteout, making it extremely hard to see anything in front of you. This seems like a suicide mission right now, but their Valyrian steel plot armor will get most of these men back to safety, but not all of them. When the preview trailer begins, you can see the group of men traveling out, way beyond the wall across the frozen landscape. They shot these scenes in Iceland and I have to say, this location is stunning looking. You can get a real sense of how far away they are from any civilization. If you remember from the last episode when Bran sent the ravens over the wall, they had to fly a good bit of distance before they actually saw the army of the dead. So Jon and his companions have many miles of hiking to do before they actually get there. In order to find them, they will be following the path that the Hound saw in his vision in the flames. They are looking for a mountain that is shaped like an arrowhead. After what I'm sure is days of hiking, they do find the mountain, and this is the same mountain we have seen before. This is the exact same location the Children of the Forest actually made the Night King. This is a very important landmark in Westerosi history, and this will now become the battleground for Jon Snow and his companions. Before the battle begins, Beric Dondarrion does say something interesting to Jon Snow. Beric says death is the enemy, the first enemy and the last. The enemy always wins, but we still need to fight him. Beric is exactly right. Death does always win. All of us will die. All men must die at some point. But we must not go down without a fight. Jon Snow typically knows nothing, but this time you can tell he does know something. He knows something is wrong. The army of the dead is about to ambush Jon and his team. If you look to the left of Jon right here, you can see an opening between the mountain. This is where Jon and company will be funneled through this opening as they run from the dead out onto the frozen lake. I believe the Night King knew they were coming, and he set out this trap. He has Jon surrounded, he just doesn't know it yet. But then all hell is going to break loose. Thousands of whites pour out from between these mountains, leaving Jon and everyone he is with with no choice but to run. They will run through the gorge and out onto the frozen lake, desperately trying to escape. You know that cold air they are sucking in as they run is cutting through their lungs like Valyrian steel. As they run to escape, they will realize they are surrounded with nowhere to go. Their only option will be to fight. They will be closed into a tight circle with everyone's backs against each other's. But what do we say to the god of death? Not today. The trailer then cuts to Winterfell where Arya and Sansa are beginning to bump heads. Littlefinger has set a trap that Arya is beginning to fall into. Arya actually underestimated Littlefinger and she thought she could spy on him. But Littlefinger is the master at this. 
Littlefinger has been doing this for decades. He planted a letter that Cersei forced Sansa to write to her brother Rob back when he was going to war against the Lannisters. Sansa signed a letter asking Rob to swear fealty to Joffrey. Now Arya is going to believe Sansa would also be willing to overthrow Jon as the king. Littlefinger's game may last for an episode or two, but it's not gonna last forever. Like I have said before, Arya will kill Littlefinger with his own dagger. Back up north, the battle begins. Jon and company are surrounded on all sides, but they aren't gonna go down without a fight. You can see Gendry smashing a white with his warhammer, and you can also see the Hound smashing a white with Gendry's warhammer as well. There has been some controversy around this scene because most people think the Hound picked up Gendry's hammer after he died, but I do not believe that is the case. I don't think Gendry's gonna die in this episode. I think Gendry most likely drops it and the Hound picks it up, or Gendry gives it to the Hound to use while he runs for help, because the leak did say Gendry would run back to the wall for help. There is even a scene in this trailer that shows some backup running out beyond the wall at Eastwatch. You can see it's the same spiked gate at Eastwatch by the sea, and they are running towards the storm. This is probably some extra men going to help them fight now that they know what's going on, or they are coming out to meet somebody who made it back from the fighting. We can also see Jon Snow fighting a White Walker again in this trailer. This makes the second time Jon had to face one, one verse one, and you have to wonder if the White Walkers are trying to get to Jon specifically, almost as if they know he is special. Unless Jon went after the White Walker himself because he's the one who has the Valyrian steel. I was hoping we would see everyone with some dragonglass weapons since Jon has been mining it for a while now. But the only one I've seen with a weapon that looks like dragonglass is Tormund. I guess the weapons can only help you so much when you are extremely outnumbered. There is no way Jon and the rest of his team are going to be able to make it out of here alive without the help of Daenerys and her dragons. In the trailer, you can see Tyrion and Daenerys are both in the war room together and Tyrion looks very worried. They know the chances of them coming back alive are pretty slim. Daenerys has to be worried about Jorah, and now that she's falling in love with Jon, I'm sure she's getting very worried about Jon also. Daenerys will decide that she needs to go help Jon, and she will leave Dragonstone with all three of her dragons. Tyrion will advise against this, but Daenerys is going to go anyway. She will show up with her dragons and start burning whites by the dozens, which will clear a path for the men to escape. You can see the big fires in the back of these photos, so it's pretty clear the dragons did show up and started providing air support. The Hound will subdue a white and take it back to King's Landing for proof. Daenerys will use her dragon sort of like an uber to escort everyone back to the wall safely. Jon will end up stranded all alone still surrounded by the whites, but before Daenerys can leave, the Night King will kill one of the dragons. I know people still don't believe me about this, but I 100% believe a dragon will die during this mission. Daenerys will suffer a great loss this season once again, proving to her that she needs Jon's help just as much as he needs hers. It's going to look like Jon is going to die while he's surrounded by the Whites all by himself. It will look like he has no way out, but his Uncle Benjen will show up and give Jon his horse to escape and get back to the wall. You can see Jon riding off on Benjen's horse in the trailer, and it's going to be tough seeing Benjen get swarmed by the Whites. Now, I know he was already partially turned, and we've only seen Benjen in a few episodes, but I really love this character. I would hate to see him get fully turned to the dark side, but he will sacrifice himself in order to get Jon out of there, so I have to respect him for that. So rest in peace, Uncle Benjen, you will be missed. But there is one more scene in this preview trailer that I want to talk about, and it's the very last scene. You can see a White Walker sitting on a horse, but the Night King is actually on foot, and he's walking forward towards something. I believe this is the Night King walking towards the dead dragon. The Night King will bring the dragon back to life, sort of. He will now have his own dragon to mount, and it's going to be absolutely terrifying. It's going to look incredible watching a battle of the dragons in the sky. I just hope Jon's going to get his own dragon too so he can take the Night King on himself. It would also be really cool if Bran could actually harness his powers to his full potential and warg into the Night King's dragon to regain control of it. I think that would be really interesting, but it might not be likely. But comment down below and let me know if there was anything I missed during this breakdown. I would love to hear what you have to say, as long as it's respectful. Thank you to everyone for taking the time to watch this video, I really do appreciate that. And I also have to thank my Patreon supporters, I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.